We're gonna do some Reiki for some pain release. Let me see. I'm gonna turn the music down just a tad and the Reiki energy that we will be working with today is going to be really good for pain relief and for uh, migraines, headaches, if you struggle with inflammation in your body. Uh, it'll be great for that as well. We're going to use the uh, Palo Santo as we do all the time to help with purifying our space. Hi, Brandy. Hey, Freda. Hey, Christina. So good to see you. Thank you, guys. All right. And we're going to feather through this Palo Santo to create a nice balance. Thank you, Christina. Thanks, Christina. There we go. Thank you, Freda. All right. Now let's channel some Reiki. Thank you, Christina. And all you have to do is give your body permission to receive uh, so we can open and access these energy fields and channel the Reiki through. Hey Lisa, good to see you, thank you. Hey, Daisy. Good to see you. Thanks. Thank you so much, Daisy. There we 
down. Remember to connect with your breath right now. Taking a nice deep breath in and releasing any energies that you no longer want. We're just going to shake those off of the aura right now. There you go. You might even feel my hands here right in the shoulders, around the neck, just gently helping you drop your shoulders right now. Take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, really drop those shoulders, sinking in to that relaxation. Hey, Matt, it's great to see you. Thank you. I'm going to do some very gentle cord cutting here. Very, very gentle. Thank you, Brandy. And when I am doing this cord cutting, the reason why I want to go gentle is because when you suffer with chronic pain, sometimes touch and intensify it. So we want to do everything with care right now. Not overdoing it. Sometimes less is more. There we go. Very good. Just like that. I want to get into that crown chakra now. Hey, Tammy, so good to see you today. Thank you. Hey, Sarah. There we go. Very gently. While we are in this crown chakra, we are massaging that energy around the brain. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Lady P. And I'm going to gently pull any blockages that are here along the side the temple right there in the scalp. struggling with any headaches. Thank you, Crystal. Those are beautiful. I'm going to work right along here on that left side. I'm really pushing that blockage up and letting it remove through the crown and release. There you go. You might feel it stop wherever there's pressure and that's okay because we're breaking up that blockage right now so we can release it up through the crown. I always recommend if you are, you can always place your ear on your other shoulder as I work through that area for you. 
and just breathe and if you have to yawn or yawn is a nice release there we go hey TNT good to see you today again I'm just going to do a little pulling See if we can get any more of those blockages. There you go. Good job. use the chakra wand here and we're still working through any pain here hey Roxanne good to see you thank you thank you everybody for helping me get that gift goal today thank you Cynthia hey April it's so good to see you. Hi, Melanie. Thank you. Thank you, Christina. Thanks so much. Hey, Lex. Hi, Chantal. Chantal. Thank you for the hand heart. Hey, Neely. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, Lex. Thank you, Lex. Hey, Veronica. Good to see you. Thank you. We're going to move to the other side now. So if you feel comfortable, place your left ear to your shoulder. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm going to use this chakra wand to continue working that energy up on that side. On the right side, and we are getting any blockages in that temple. There you go. Oh, wow. Thank you for the superpower hands. Thank you, TNT. Thank you, Veronica, for the hand heart. Thank you guys for helping me get closer to the gift card. There we go. Just like that. All Thank you, Daisy. Thanks so much. There we go. Now, what I would like to do is to 
like to do some cord cutting here on the crown chakra to do some some uh, gentle, gentle, gentle cord release here. Thank you, Kevin. All right. So we're gonna do some more cord cutting. Hey, Lid, the kid. Good to see you. There, just like this. Very gentle. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Deanna. Hey, Deanna. I like this song, especially when it comes on when we do uh, uh, healing for chronic pain. This song always resonates with me as a walking away from a hard journey, walking away, not feeling completely defeated, but Sometimes we can take it as we are walking away from going to move forward, moving forward and reframing the way that we live our life. Sometimes it can be challenging when you are in a body that physically brings you pain. So where do we go from here? How do we reframe our living? How do we not surrender to the pain, but also find the acceptance that life might just look a little different? How can we enjoy it now when sometimes our body is fighting against us? There's many ways. Sometimes we have to be creative. And that's why I want to work in that third eye perspective. Connecting with your intuition, connecting with your inner voice. When you have those moments of feeling defeat, if you have those moments of feeling isolation or throwing in the towel, connecting with that intuition, saying, help me, guide me, connect with source and please show me the way. And a lot of times when we can leave the overthinking and just simplify it, taking it one day at a time, sometimes that can help us remove that stress. Thank you guys. And when we can remove that stress, guess what? Your body begins to heal. Stress is the number one cause of our immune system becoming lower. It is always the first thing whenever you have a chronic illness or an injury that the doctor says, remove stress. Stress can make things so much worse. And when you can prevent it or remove it, it makes the healing happen a lot quicker, makes it a lot easier. And sometimes it might not all go away, but I always say I'd rather be 80% and instead of 40% and Thank you, Marissa. 
Hey, Chelsea. So that's what we are going to do when we get into that third eye today is asking and we can do that here too in the the crown chakra thank you crystal talking with source or wherever your spirituality is help guide me help guide my mindset thank you so much there we go thank you Jennifer Sometimes chronic pain doesn't always have to be physical either. Some people consider depression, chronic depression, a chronic pain of its own or anxiety. And so this healing is really can be used for many different things. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. There we go, just like that. Very good. So if you are someone suffering with chronic pain, if you're somebody that is struggling with uh, inflammation or headaches, migraines, we're just working in that third eye, we're working in that crown to really Release any kind of feelings of defeat, any kind of feelings of isolation. Thinking about the healthy days, knowing that those are always in range. Sometimes when you have felt sick for so long, can look like when was the last time that I felt healthy and that can sometimes feel a little defeating and I'm never ever ever here to preach I know that when you have chronic pain or chronic illness thank you it isn't like it's the first day and you haven't uh, been living with this your whole life. But sometimes it's always good to just hear encouragement, a reminder. Sometimes the most simplest things seem so hard to do. Thank you, Sharon. Hey, Stephanie. I have good I haven't opened it yet. 
I'm going to write after this live and I'm very excited about it. So I'll probably be talking about it tonight. My husband brought it in to me um, earlier this morning. you have overactive, this will just help with balancing it. Here in that throat chakra. There we go. And if you don't deal with any kind of chronic pain or illness, um, this is really good for, thank you Emily, this is really good for your um, communication and boundary setting. We're going to work on a whole body healing. This is for anybody dealing with a full body chronic pain. This could be fibroid myalgia. Thank you, Brandy. This could be MS. Thank you, Sonia. This could be uh, Anybody that is uh, getting off of opioids or uh, has been in an accident where they have multi-injuries. Uh, it could also be anybody that has a neuro ah, neurological problems. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. And um, is struggling with this when this sometimes it can do stuff with your sensors so then your whole body is feeling it this is also for anybody that has nervous system issues hey i'll see you tomorrow info daisies good to see you there we go This is also for anybody that has chronic fatigue and your whole body might just feel sleepy and tired and lethargic. Thank you, Amber. There we go. Very good. Thank you, Margaret. All right. Thank you, Emma. Thank 
Thanks, Amber. Thank you, Michael. Now, as we are here, let's drift away into the subconscious. We will do this by taking a deep breath in and tightening all of the muscles on our body. And on our exhale, let's just release our feet, keeping everything else nice and tight. Thank you, Nicole. Good to see you. Thank you, Sonia. We're going to take a, another deep breath in. Bring that focus and awareness now up through the calves, through the shins, and releasing just these muscles underneath the knees now. On the exhale, keeping everything else nice and tight. And now bring your focus and awareness right up through the thighs and the hamstrings, and now the knees. And right there, letting go of these muscles on the exhale, keeping the upper body nice and tight. There you go. And breathing in again, up through the pelvic, up through the hips, here we go. And exhale, releasing, letting go of these muscles. Thank you. And inhale again, up through the abdomen. Up through the lower back. There's always a little pain here. And we're going to exhale and release these muscles. Take another deep breath in, bringing the focus and awareness to the rib cage. There we go on the back of the ribs and releasing and letting go of the solar plexus. There, just like that. And we're going to inhale again up through the chest, up through the shoulders. The shoulder blades, the large muscles in the back, and exhale, releasing these muscles all the way down. There you go. Very good. And now your shoulders throughout the arms, down through the wrists, the hands, the fingertips, releasing these muscles on the exhale. And now your face, your neck, your head, releasing all of these tiny muscles in the face, in the scalp, the ears, feeling all of that relaxation from the head down to the toes. Very good, just like that. Good job. And now we are on a deeper level in the subconscious. And while we are here, I want you to imagine your feet right now on the earth's floor. And we are going to really Dive in deep into the earth where you can see all of the different layers. And as you do this, your mind shifts into the core of the earth. But instead of a red energy, you see a very vibrant emerald green swirling around. As you look a little closer, this green energy, these little molecules, little cells, 
very healthy, very vibrant and full of vitality. As your feet are standing very grounded into the earth's floor, they feel like magnets to this green cellular energy that's at the core of the earth. You begin to feel this green energy as it swirls up and surfaces to the earth's floor only entering the soles of your feet right now. And as you breathe in, you breathe in that beautiful green cellular energy, watching as it populates throughout your whole body. And as you exhale, you release any pain, any toxins, making more room for that healthy green cellular energy. And here I want you to take a moment and identify any pain that is left over in your body. And as that green energy continues to travel up through the soles of your feet, It fills up your whole body and on the exhale, still releasing and letting go of any pain. Watching as that green energy continues to circle around any pain, any unwanted energy as it infuses and dissolves any leftover toxins. There we go. And I would like you to continue allowing this green energy that's traveling through the core of the earth to travel through those soles of your feet, strengthening, there we go, just like that. And now that your body has all of this green cellular energy flowing through it, as your bare feet are touching the earth's floor, I want you to just imagine now a beautiful field of nature. And while you see this beautiful field of nature, your feet still touching the earth's floor, feeling the rays of sunlight as they beam on your body, on your face, revitalizing your energy. I want you to think of a time in your life that you felt the healthiest and the strongest. And I want you to, in this image, begin running in that beautiful field of nature. So strong, so full of life, so carefree. There you go. Feeling that green energy carrying you from the earth every step you take.
While we are here, I want you to think of one emotion. If it's joy, if it's peace, happiness, momentum, excitement. And I want you to take your palm, your thumb, and we're going to anchor in this feeling of joy. Taking a nice deep breath in and just circulating. And just saying here, I am strong. There you go. Again, taking another deep breath in. And just saying, I am so strong. There you go. Bring your hands back to your lap. And here, let's yawn. Tapping into a deeper level of subconscious. There you go. Taking your palm again and anchoring in. I am strong and I feel my vitality. There you go. One last time. I am strong and I feel my vitality. Very good. Bring your palms back to your lap. I'm going to now gently count you back to awareness. Five, becoming aware of your physical body. How are you feeling? Four, becoming aware of your emotions. How do you feel right now? Three, becoming aware of the sounds around you and your environment. Two, becoming aware of your breath, taking in the deepest breath that you've taken in all day. And one, gently and lovingly opening your eyes when you feel it. Very good. I hope this has helped you, this healing energy today. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I am trying to get 10 subscribers. I will also be back on tonight for sleepy time Reiki. Hi Amanda, so good to see you. Thank you Brandy, thanks so much. Thanks Amanda, you're beautiful as always. Aw, thank you Sonia. Thank you Michelle. Thank you Emmy Lou. Thank you Sam. Love you bunches too. Thank you. I hope you have a great day too, Brandy. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Hey, Danielle. Hey, good to see you. So good to see you. Thank you, Allie Rose. Thank you, Sonia. That's so sweet. Thank you, SD. Great to see you. Thank you, guys. I'm good. I was, I had a dream about you, and that's why. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was a dream. It was like a, it was, I don't know. If you're, if you're dating somebody, that's your person, but if not, you have a soulmate coming to you. So I just needed to share that with you. I was going to write you, but I figure I'll tell you in front of everybody. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Chelsea. I know it was so strange, but I swear, like, I'm not, a, I don't have dreams like that. So whenever I do have a dream, I make sure that I tell somebody and they, they always 
they always come true. I don't know why. So if you didn't want somebody, you have somebody coming to you and I'm sorry. But if you do want somebody, then you may be. <laughs> it's such a weird thing with my, so my dreams aren't, so somebody can't just ask me to dream of something, it won't happen. But if I have something happen, then it, it does. So that's why I let you know. Thank you, Alice. Thank you so much. I know, right, Amanda? I'm, I was so happy. I sat up in bed and I was like, oh my god, I have to send her a message. <laughs> awesome, Danielle. So you feel like it's because I didn't even know that you're, if you're seeing somebody, I had no idea. So if you were, oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a weirdo. There we go. Oh my goodness, I gotta cry. You deserve this. You so deserve this. Oh my goodness. It's good. It's good. This is the one, just so you know. This is the one. So I bet you're smitten, and I bet that they're smitten also. How freaking amazing. Thank you, Liz. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm super happy. You deserve it. You definitely do. All right, guys. Well, so I'm going to hop off and that's awesome. They are, huh, Alice? So, uh, guys, Stephanie, I don't know if she's here. I saw her earlier. She goes live tomorrow for her first time. We all need to show up and support. If she's not here, please join in at Sleepy Time Reiki, and we're going to make sure that everybody gets her handle so then we can make sure that we're all there tomorrow to support her on Saturday. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so... Awesome. Very cool, Danielle. I can't wait. I'm so excited for her. This will be super cool. Well, guys, I hope to see you all for Sleepy Time Reiki tonight. And yes, and everybody that's going tomorrow too, I'll see you guys for your attunement. Anybody that is getting attuned Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 Holy Fire, if you haven't registered, um, you still have time because all it does is send you a Zoom link. So if you are Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 Asui Traditional and you're just needing your attunement for Holy Fire, make sure uh, that you sign up and it is in my link tree. So, yeah. All right. And if you guys get that done, I mean, we have a master level coming up really soon in December. So if you're interested in that too, that's in my link tree as well. So yes, have a beautiful evening, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Daniel. Bye, guys.